In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a data product in Starburst Galaxy from a schema with existing metadata. But before I do that, I'm going to quickly add some metadata to one of my schemas so that I have something to work with. I'm going to add metadata to the employee schema in the PostgreSQL Burst Bank catalog. Let's go over the catalogs pane and find that schema. So I'm going to expand PostgreSQL Burst Bank, and here's the employee schema, so I'll click on that. And I want to add metadata to this schema, so I'm going to click Show Details here to expand the metadata panel. And the first thing I'm going to add is a description, so I'll click the pencil icon here. Now I'll click Save Changes. And next I'm going to add a link. And I'll just add a link to our Starburst homepage. Okay, and I'll click Save Changes. And then finally, I'll add myself as a contact. There we go, and I'll click Save Changes. Okay, so now I have some metadata saved for this employee schema, and I'm going to promote it to a data product to see what happens with the metadata. So let's click Promote to Data Product here. So you see when I click the button to promote, I'm prompted to decide if I want to include the metadata that already exists. Uh, by default, all of the metadata is selected for me, and I do want to import it all, so I'm just going to leave that selected and click Import. Okay, so now you can see that the description that I had added to metadata has been populated into the summary box here. And then if I scroll down, you can see that the link and myself as a contact has already been imported as well. So now I'm going to finish adding some details to this data product so that I can promote it. I'm going to name it Employees. I'm going to paste in some markdown that I have for the description. And then I'm going to preview the description just to see if it looks okay. So that looks good. I'm going to choose the default cluster, which is going to be AWS US East One free. And then everything looks good, so I'm going to promote it to a data product. So just a quick note to keep in mind that even though the description and other metadata from my schema was imported to the data product, any edits that you make to the data product metadata after you import it from the schema will not be reflected in the schema metadata. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.